Hello friend, today we make IR remote control DC motor project. Now we start the project. First we open Tinkercad. We see the Tinkercad the code. And now search the component. Arduino. Arduino, you know, drag and drop here. Now we search. Breadboard. Breadboard, breadboard is small. Again we search. L29 3D IP. This is the motor driver IP. And now search IR remote. This is the IR remote and this is the IR sensor. And search one motor. This is the DC motor. Now connect the circuit. First we connect to the IC motor driver. Now power pin connect to the breadboard. Power pin connect to the breadboard. Also power pin connect to the another terminal of the breadboard. Now connect the ground pin. This is a ground pin connect to the ground and also bypass the ground terminal to here also. In the L29 3D motor driver IC there is 4 VCC pin. You have to connect enable pin also connect to the power of 5 volt. And power connect to the power. Enable 3 4 pin also connect to the power and last pin also connect to the power. There are 4 ground pin, ground pin, ground pin, ground and ground. All 4 connected to the ground. You have to connect the ground pin. Also change the color like black. This is also ground pin. Connect to the ground of the Breadboard. Now, here you can see input 4 pin, here input 1, input 2, output 1, output 2. And I have connected input 4 and input 3. Use any digital pin. I have connected to the second digital pin. To the input. Three. This is the input three pin, and digital pin three connect to the input second pin. This is the input second pin. This is the input second pin. Now connect the output pin. To the DC motor, this is a DC motor, this is the output 4 and output 3. Output 4 connect to the DC motor in any terminal you have to connect, and second DC motor terminal connect to the output third, output third, and output four. I have connected the output third and output four. Now, DC motor also connect to the driver and TSOP sensor. In the TSOP sensor, there is three pin. Power pin connect to the power. IR remote sensor also you can say. You can also say that TSOP sensor. Second pin, ground pin connect to the ground of the Arduino. The last pin output pin connect to the any digital pin. I have used any digital pin, you can use it. This is the output terminal. Now the circuit is completed. You have to make a code, click on the code and delete this code. I am using the sensor, then we have to create a variable, click on the variable 
create variable ir don't give space into word use underscore then that then click ok there is three blocks is generated also shift the screen now take set ir sensor ir sensor connect to the digital 7 pin go to the input block and use read infrared sensor pin use this block read infrared sensor pin infrared sensor pin connect to the 7 pin of the arduino and go to the output block and take print to serial monitor in hello world in hello world we have to put the variable ir sensor and take one second wait if i not use the wait you can see it start simulate and open the serial monitor and value fluctuate in so speed that's why i'm using wait one second click on the control take wait one second now you can write the number in the copy now write the value of the remote when i'm pressing one then you can see value is 16 when I am pressing second, then value is 17. I have used only two buttons, one for clockwise and two for anti-clockwise. Power button for the off. When I click on the power button, you can see value is zero. Now stop it and delete this wait second, wait block and go to the control, use if block. Go to the math section and take this block and go to the variable use ir sensor and here we put equal to if the sensor value is 16 then motor rotate clockwise go to the output and set pin 1 and set pin 2 use 3 2 and 3 second is no now duplicate it 16 here you put 17 interchange the condition low and high and the third condition right click duplicate it and put it here when the value is 0 then motor is off now start simulate and open the serial monitor when I am pressing 1 the motor rotate clockwise. When I'm pressing second, the motor rotate anti-clockwise. You can see minus minus RPM when I click it, then you can see in the plus RPM. When I click in second, you can see minus RPM anti-clockwise. When I'm pressing one, it's the clockwise, and when I click on the power button, it will be stop. You can see 0 RPM. Project is working now. Now you have to see the text code. Stop here. Go to the block and click on the block plus text. You can see this is a text code. You can copy this text code and use in the Arduino IDE and upload the code in the hardware. Now again go to the block. Again we start simulate and check and check it when i clicking one button motor rotating clockwise when i clicking second motor rotate anti-clockwise when i clicking on the power button you can see motor is stop if you have any problem also comment also code link also given in description thank you all friends